Dr. Mimi Lee with Vein and Aesthetic Care in Little Rock is here to talk a little bit more about varicose vein treatment. It's the season for that too because we're getting ready for swimsuit and skirt season. It's good to have you here, Doctor. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, talk a little bit about uh, your background and you were really the first to do this procedure here. That's right. Um, I am um, the first um, physician in Arkansas to do this um, no vein stripping surgery for varicose vein. Basically, um, uh, it's called a closure procedure, mm -hmm. and uh, I started doing this about 14 years ago. Yeah, and a lot of people, we know that these are unsightly, but there can be some medical concerns as well with varicose veins. Yes, varicose vein is not just a cosmetic problem. It actually um, is coming from a malfunctioning circulation, mm -hmm. and uh, so if left untreated, it can cause uh, medical issues. And uh, in the beginning, um, First of all, blood flow, you know, is supposed to go up on our leg, you know, and uh, right. the, the veins have one-way valves to, to manage that. Patients with varicose veins often have valve issue, mm -hmm. and as a result, the blood flow leaks down into the lower leg, and they start causing bulging ropey veins. And uh, in the beginning, it's just a little unsightly vein, and then it can cause swelling, discoloration, itching, ulcers, and even blood clot right. if left untreated. So we urge patients to, to come in for evaluation. Okay, we've got some pictures up uh, kind of to demonstrate what you're talking about. And uh, these can call, it, it can lead to venous reflux also? That's correct. Is that how you pronounce that? Yes, that, that, that um, blood flow coming down is called venous mm -hmm. reflux. Okay, uh, tell us what we're seeing here and basically how you achieved that before and after. Well, the treatment nowadays involves um, just some, you know, fixing the underlying malfunctioning blood flow and uh, in an office procedure called closure. Mm -hmm. It's done in about 20 minutes and uh, it's painless and we, we do give some mild sedatives uh, for patients who are scared and, right. uh, and it's, you know, gives a great cosmetic results in addition to the relief, you know, the yes. swelling, discomfort and pain would disappear. But before doctors were going in and taking these veins out and it was a much more involved procedure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that. much better now. Yes. Okay, those are varicose veins. Some women just have spider veins. What can you do for that? That's right. I'm, I'm actually married to a plastic surgeon, uh -huh. so I have a, you know, a few cosmetic procedures that I perform in my office. And, of course, um, that spider vein is a cosmetic treatment. And uh, nowadays, um, we can use a, um, a medication called Asclera, and I do a little micro-injection. Mm -hmm. It's painless, and uh, it takes about two or three treatments, and it can therefore take a few weeks to get better results. So so this is a good time to, to take care of that. Right, because this time of year when you're not showing your legs, it's a good time because what are some of the uh, the treatments that they'll go through or what what do they have to do after they have that treatment? Um, not much, you know, they can go back to normal activity, but we do ask patients to wear some light support hose for a few mm -hmm. days. And uh, one thing that's really important about um, the difference with uh, spider and varicose vein, is varicose vein is a health condition, so treatment and evaluation are covered by insurance. Oh, that's you know? good. Whereas spider veins uh, could be more of a cosmetic concern, so it may not be covered by insurance. But, um, you know, that's my job to take a look at patient and give them right. the proper advice and guide them in the right direction. Okay, it's a good time of year, though. You don't want to wear those compression hose in August. In Arkansas, right? Yes. So that's why we're uh, making you aware of all of this. I think we have some pictures of the spider veins as well, and that's more of a cosmetic issue for people. Right. Right, right. exactly. Okay, you have got a free screening coming up. Yes. A couple of them. Yeah, actually, um, um, next couple of weeks, we um, January 19 and 28, um, we're offering free vein screening for our patients, mm -hmm. and um, it um, allow me to take a quick look at their veins and do a brief uh, ultrasound to see if there's a blood flow issue, and right. if there is, you know, we'll give the proper recommendation, mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to work with the insurance from that point. You could tell them this is just spider veins or this is something a little right. bit more that may be a health issue for you and, and give them the proper uh, ideas for uh, treatments and give them the options that are possible. Uh, do they need to call ahead or they can just show up? Uh, we, we make appointments for that so okay. that everybody you know can get in quickly and okay. not have to wait. That's coming up on the 19th and 28th and there's the phone number. Jot it down and give them a call if you're interested. 224-0880 and that is the vein and aesthetic care uh, there in the Pavilion Center on Cantrell. Thank you, Dr. Beanie Lee. Thank you we for having me. We appreciate you so much. Good Thank luck you. with Thank the free you. screenings. Thanks for the information.